Good morning and welcome to Torah for Women's Mount Moments. This is Judith Garden. I am excited to be starting something special this month, the long promised journaling videos with you. Remembering that this journal is what I call a prayer journal, I want to focus on what things to record in your journals, things which come to each and every one of us during prayer time. I'm hoping to share examples throughout this series of what I've written down in the past, as well as precious moments that pop up as we go on this journey together. We will have a specific topic focus um, on the first number of videos that I'm going to share with you, and we'll introduce those uh, in the uh, in the very near future <laughs> what exactly the topic is. People often ask though um, one big question, when do I need to pray? Well the interesting thing to me is that prayer time can actually be any time of day. I often find myself praying while I'm washing dishes, folding laundry, working in the garden, and yes, I do often have a special time of personal prayer that I set aside specifically to focus and meditate in prayer. Sometimes I find I'll just be talking to Yahweh while I'm doing whatever around the house or even traveling, I do the same thing. I don't even realize sometimes that I'm talking to him until he answers me or gives me an idea. One example I wanted to share with you happened just a short time ago here in January 2021. Our one daughter was in the hospital after having given birth to our newest grandson. And I was just going about my morning routine, my shower, drying and curling, all this hair. Um, <laughs> I was making my coffee, refreshing the kefir, feeding our sourdough starters, and then suddenly, um, standing in the hallway, Yahweh impressed upon me something very, very simple. He whispered to me through the Holy Spirit, she will feel much better when she goes home. They will feel much better when they go home. And then there was a pause and I got, tell her she will feel much better when they go home. I immediately picked up my cell phone and I texted her because it had been a struggle for the previous couple of days with her blood pressure and frustrating situations and whatnot. And the simple thing I texted was, hey, how was your night last night? Just a simple starter question. And that was when she said to me, not great mom, but it will be much better when we go home. I just stood there staring at my phone screen <laughs> and I was speechless. Such a simple, simple phrase, a simple, simple word that God gave me. She had gotten at almost exactly the same time and I was speechless. I told her, I have to agree, honey. And that is exactly why I texted. Is everything all right? And it took a bit, but she shared everything that had gone on the night before. It was not okay. Her night was more stressful than it, the others had been previously, and it was definitely not great. Um, but knowing that someone was with her brought her comfort, and I was very grateful for that. And I was even more grateful that I listened. And we need to do that. And that's part of what I want to share in these journaling sessions is how we will learn to listen for the true and perfect Word of God through the Holy Spirit as He testifies to us in prayer time. All it took for me though, just that simple little thing, Abba just reached me in a simple moment in the morning. And my having our daughter on my mind that day, the prayer in my heart that I always carry with me. Just like I said, as I was wandering around doing daily tasks, it wasn't a monumental revelation or earth shaking moment. It wasn't a prophetic earth shattering thing. It was just a simple example of a prayer message. And I, that's one I will record in my journal. In fact, I have, I never know when or why that particular situation will come up again. I don't know when I will need to know of that moment in my journal, but I will. And it always happens. The things that I record in my journal, I look back on and I'm like, oh my goodness, I need that word from God again today. And so I often go back and I reread the things from my journals. I now have three or four of them that I have set aside. So it it's a lot to go through sometimes, but I've recorded dreams. I've recorded visions that I've gotten during prayer time. 
um, moments that Yahweh has just impressed upon me, certain messages that I need to write down, and I do that. Now, I may find myself or someone else in the future in need of a simple word such as this, whether it's through the process of prayer I went through, whether it's through listening to the Holy Spirit message that came to me, or whether it's the message I shared with our daughter. It still needs to be done. Um, and I will share that with others. As, as Yahweh impresses upon me to do so, that was something simple, just a word of knowledge, a word of wisdom, and I need to carry that through. So I need to make sure that I record that. Those are the things I want you to start recording in your journal. Now, a lot of people believe, like I said before, that the only things you need to record in your journal are your big things, your big moments, something prophetic, earth shattering, world changing, um, and those things might happen to you. I'm not going to discount that at all. Um, there have been times when I, we have gotten strong revelations. Um, one example we will go over at some point was our moving from New Jersey to West Virginia was a big message that Jim got. Those are things we need to remember do happen in our lives, but most often it's the little things that happen day to day and that may bring us some sort of hope or joy, comfort in the future, or to that bring those things to someone else. This is one of the reasons why I try to do something. I'm going to show you really quick. I mark in my journal with my colored highlighters. This is currently my favorite set. I, I do love these ones. They don't soak through my pages and they are wonderful. And then what I do is I have a color chart in my journal. I'm going to show you really quick. I know that we have a video that we have gone over before. And look at that. I didn't bring my color chart for my new my new journal. I do have a color chart in my old journal right in the front cover. I have it written in so that I can always refer back to my colored chart. Um, and each one of these colors is for a specific reason, whether it's um, impressions from the Holy Spirit or prophetic word, word of wisdom, word of knowledge. And I even saved one highlighter specifically to mark the things that I know have come to fruition. They have come to pass. So if I've gotten a word for our family, for myself, and it has happened, I mark it so that I know things are happening in our lives. Now, I'm not very diligent and marking day to day um, what things uh, words have come from Yahweh and whatnot with my highlighters. But to fix that problem, I did something for myself. Last week, I made a bag. This is just a real simple bag I stitched together with a clutch, quick little clutch thing. And in here, I keep my day planner. I keep my highlighters now because I wasn't carrying them with me with my journal and I keep my journal. And it is so easy to just quick grab the whole bag <laughs> and drop it. Quick grab the whole bag and move along through the day. So I keep that handy in case I need to write things down. There have been times when I've been in the kitchen and I've been preparing something to cook or washing dishes, making a loaf of bread, or even preparing to do one of our prepper videos. And I have gotten a word and I need to write it down right away. Because if I don't, I will forget them. And I have. So I'm encouraging you to take the next few days um, as you go through our next videos because I am going to upload a few at a time. Do things special for yourself. Gather your journal, your pen or your highlighters, pen and highlighters, gather them together. Try and find a special bag or a carrying case of some kind that you can carry together. All of those items you need and then you have them when you're ready to roll and you get a word from Yahweh. I hope that this message has helped you and I want to share with you just really quick um, the summary of the main points of this particular video. It doesn't need to be a big revelation, remember, to record it. Um, write it down, whether it's a word for you, a word of wisdom, word of knowledge for your family, one of your children, a cousin, it doesn't matter, write it down. Put it in your prayer journal. And that may happen today. After you've watched this video, you may hear Yahweh whisper something to you. Write it down. And remember, prayer time does not have to be a specific time you set aside. That is wonderful to do for yourself. It is a blessed treasure to take the time. But if you cannot 
specifically set aside an hour or two every day for meditation in Yahweh's presence. Make sure that you keep him with you everywhere you go. Remember to be ready with your journal close by. And like I said, put together a nice little handy carry bag of some kind if you need to and hold it close. And categorize your messages using your um, highlighters and your color code. I will insert a quick slide in here to show you the color code that I'm using and reference the video um, down in the comments and hopefully up in the corner. <laughs> if I can remember how to do that. And I will do that for you so that you can go back and look at how I have used the highlighters in the past and I will be using them more diligently going forward. I hope, as I said before, that this message has helped you. I'm hoping it's igniting in you a new enthusiasm for journaling. I'm hoping that you're as excited as I am going forward. And I hope that you've learned or picked up a few easy things or ideas through this message. And there will be some links I will include in the description below, the color coded, uh, the video for the color coded legend using the highlighters. And I'm also going to do for every video a PDF printout of the transcript so that you have it to pull out any of the notes that you need. Um, and those will be available on torahforwomen.com. The link will be below in the, in the description. Thank you for stopping in and I'm looking forward to spending journaling time with you. Shalom.